second down and they're about the All right. What's up everyone? Welcome back. So we're heading into the fourth year as Wisconsin leads by like about a million points. Uh, so Illinois is basically fucked at this point, I think it's safe to say. There's pretty much a 0% chance they're making a comeback. But let's, uh, let's, let's be real here. Even the fans are like, fuck this. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's first and ten and they continue to work the ball downfield. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Drops back to pass. Knocked down. Incomplete. Boy, that ball seemed to float in the air forever. And it looked like the corner who got to it first. That's what happens sometimes when you give it too much air. On the run. What a play, and that is first to go. So another run and another first down. Yeah, it's time for the defense to buckle down. They need to start hitting the gaps and getting into the backfield. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. tackled around the three-yard line they pick up two on the pass play usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch drops back to pass fires incomplete so here we go it's third and goal from the two-yard line young man with four touchdowns. We wondered if the linebackers were going to be able to slow him down today, and I guess that answer is pretty simple. No. <laughs> yeah, so Wisconsin scores even more points unnecessarily at this point. Again, I think it's pretty safe to say Wisconsin's got this one in the bag. I mean, if Wisconsin somehow doesn't win this game... It would be the most just unfucking believable comeback that I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. Gets out to about the 21. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. The offense will take over at the 21-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He looks to throw on first down. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Two-yard loss. Really, they just that whole lot of fucking good that did. That'll bring up second and 12. He drops back. Got a man. Not able to catch it. It's a decent pass. He just wasn't able to fucking catch it. Fucking Butterfingers over there dropping passes. Back to pass. Got his back, but he can't. Wow. God, these receivers are really sucking some motherfucking cock. It's fourth down. It looks wow. Like they're gonna punt it away here. So unable to catch that ball because he was too busy again, as for mentioned, sucking cock. And he's tackled at the 42. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Gains his way to midfield. That's a gain of eight. Makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Wisconsin up by a big margin. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice 
So they get the first down, so that's going to bode well. And with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more times than that. From the 45 yard line, it's first down. Wisconsin up big. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Feeds it to the back. Nice run to the outside. They gained five yards there. Gain of five yards. From the 40-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Four yards gain. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 36. Yeah, and they're just going to keep running out the fucking clock. Yeah, so they easily get the first down, so that's going to be the end of the fucking game right there. And unless Illinois uses a timeout, which at this point doesn't even really fucking matter. First down, 10 yards to go. Yeah, I don't even think they're going to bother using a fucking timeout. So, yeah, that's the end. So Wisconsin takes home the victory over Illinois, 40 fucking 2 to 3. God damn. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, Wisconsin, 42, Illinois, 3. Shh. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that was a bit of a one-sided game. <laughs> and here's today's Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The perfect combination of chocolate yeah, dude just like straight up spun out of that fucking tackle. <laughs> Coming into this game, I thought that these two teams were pretty evenly matched. So the fact that they won by such a comfortable margin really says a lot about what a great game they play. Wisconsin was so impressive in this win. I thought this was going to be nip and tuck, but they just ran these guys out of the stadium. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win. Yeah, four fucking touchdowns? No shit. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 11. For Kurt, Aaron, and everyone here at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye. We'll see you next time. All right. Well, either way, guys, that will uh, do it for that one, so stay tuned for the next game. Until then, peace out.